a video, an elaboration of the importance of indirect speech, of innuendo for seduction, um, for understanding women, connecting with them, having meaningful relationships with them. I wrote about it in a blog post, I wrote about it in a newsletter, uh, you can all find it on hanscommand.com, but some people prefer the video, uh, it gives me a chance also to elaborate a little bit on it. It is very, very important and most men don't really get it. Um, so let me give it another try. <laughs> First of all, I always stress and will always stress the importance of being inclusive with your partner, with your girlfriend, with your wife, which means that you uh, take responsibility or you do your bit in making sure that she understands, that there is no under misunderstanding, that there is clarity, that she knows everything that she wants to know. Um, a lot of men hearing that think that the way to clarity is through bluntness, to be verbally explicit, to be overt, to be radically honest. And in the name of that honesty, they do a lot of more harm than they do good. And they don't understand it and they're frustrated about it. Um, and so to, to explain what the importance is of innuendo, of indirect speech, will help you come to terms with it, have peace with it, and learn to understand and learn to speak understand and speak the language of women of seduction there's a philosopher called Steven Pinker and he makes a, a great distinction between individual knowledge and mutual knowledge the difference between I know she knows which is individual knowledge or uh, she knows that I know that she knows uh, he gives the example he gives many examples and there's one of a movie that I like uh, when Harry met Sally and they are friends they're friends, um, but they both know individually that he would like something different with her. He would like to move into a more romantic realm. He knows, she knows, but she does not know that he knows that she knows. Uh, and then he comes with this proposition, this request, which changes the knowledge from individual knowledge into mutual knowledge. By being blunt, by coming on uh, overtly, uh, he changes the knowledge he says this he says Sally uh, uh, maybe we should just have sex <laughs> and so by being blunt by being overt uh, she hears it and she says what did you just say she has she has to say no even if she would like to say yes she has to say no because of the bluntness that's a part of the harm the second harm is this they cannot go back to the fiction of friendship because he says, oh, forget that I said it. And she says, no, it's already out there. And so what he has done is not only he has forced her to face the issue, has forced her to address the issue. And when forced with bluntness, she has to say no. And by putting the thing into the open, he has uh, taken away the possibility for them to continue as friends if she declines his uh, request. So such is the harm of direct or the possible harm of bluntness of dar direct speech um, and so the benefits from innuendos from indirect speech from silence also are that a woman does not have to face it that she does not have to address it also and maybe this is a good summary is that when all is said and done she still has the freedom to say uh, it just happened and so think of this, I think this is a good way uh, to think about it when you meet a woman is one, to be inclusive and to make sure that she knows that there is no understanding about your intentions, but at the same time, save for her the possibility that when all is said and done, she can still say, it just happened.